Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you an easy way to change your backgrounds and add fun effects in your Google Meets using an extension that you can use on either a computer, a laptop, and even a Chromebook. Ever since I released the video showing you how to change the backgrounds and add fun lenses and effects to your Google Meets using Snap Camera, I've had several teachers and students reach out to me asking if there was anything they could use if they were on a Chromebook. And up until this point, I haven't really found anything that worked reliably uh, until I checked out visual effects for Google Meet. I'm going to show you how this extension works. It's still fairly limited compared to Snap Camera, and some of the effects don't quite work the way they should, but I know the person that has created this extension has been updating it, and it's continuing to get better. So I feel like it's at a point now that I can show it to you, because I know for a lot of students who are at home right now, some of them feel very self-conscious of their backgrounds and their homes, and this has some really cool effects that let you blur out the backgrounds and do some of that stuff. So let me show you what this looks like. And all you have to do is click uh, add this to Chrome. And then when you do and you go into a Google Meet, and I'm sorry because I know the audio isn't going to match up to the video because of the two different devices I'm on. Uh, but once you have that installed, over on the left side here, you'll notice a little white bar. When you click that, it pops out the visual effects bar. And this allows you to scroll through and click whichever effect it is you're looking for. Now, in a second, I will go upstairs where I don't have a green screen behind me. So you can see some of these other effects, uh, like the background blur and the blur. Uh, but some of these things you can see here with the green screen uh, is like bubbles. And so you can see that there's bubbles that show your image from the camera in there. You can change the contrast. And it has a little slider bar down here that you can adjust to fit whatever uh, lighting or whatever the situation is. And again, to turn them on and off, all you have to do is just click on it and you'll see there's a little check mark letting you know that that is on. And then to click it again, you'll see the little box and that means it's off. And you can combine these. Uh, and you'll see as we go through, you can combine several ones uh, if that works for you. There's also cube, which is a rotating cube. And it'll just slowly rotate as you're talking and you know, watching in your meet. You can do 3D movie, which gives you that effect of uh, kind of like the blurred 3D movie thing. You can flip so that you are upside down. You can do this freeze frame, so you can be in the middle of talking, and when you click freeze, it will look like you've frozen. Uh, and then when you unclick, you know, it'll just continue going, and then click it again. Oh, that's not flattering. Uh, and then just keep going like that. You can inverse... So that it has like a completely different scheme. You can do insane, which just, I guess, for lack of a better uh, explanation, looks insane. You can pixelate. And again, just like the other things that have a little scroll bar, you can decide how pixelated it is. Going all the way to the right is just a little pixelated. Going all the way to the left is just a couple giant pixels. You can do a soft focus and decide what that color looks like. You can do sunglasses. Now, again, some of these um, aren't quite developed fully. So when I clicked on sunglasses before, it lets you know it's newly developed and issues may occur. It's frozen for me a couple times when I've used this. Right now, it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, but in the past, it's frozen up for me. You can do a text display, although I have not yet figured out how to change the text. So it looks like that's still in development. But that would be a really cool thing if it gets to the point where you can actually write with something and have that displayed on the screen for you. It does allow you to go in and create your own background here. All you have to do is click on green screen and then upload your background. So I've gone ahead and uploaded a background. Then I'll click on green screen. And now you'll see it's not perfect, but it's still pretty good, and it allows me to upload whatever image or picture I want. Um, and you'll see, you know, it's a little bit fuzzy around the edges, and as I move, you know, you can kind of see the green around my hands. But for the most part, if I'm trying to block out whatever's behind me, it does a pretty good job of that. And then to turn that off again, just click on green screen, and you can upload whatever image or file you want there. Okay, so I came up into my daughter's room just to show you what this looks like without a green screen. And you can see it's kind of messy behind me. 
Um, and that's the point is that some students are going to have uh, an environment that they're not comfortable with. And something like this will allow them to blur out the background. So if I click background blur, you'll notice that pretty much everything behind me gets blurred out. And using this setting, you can uh, move it to either make the background more blurred or you can move it to the right to make it less blurred. And you'll see that even when I go to the maximum, there's a little area around me that's not quite blurred out. Um, but for the most part, you can't really see what's behind me unless I move and it kind of moves with me. You can also blur the whole screen, but that would include blurring you as well. And you can also use the green screen tool. So when I select green screen, you'll notice it's not perfect. Um, but it's still pretty good where I've got my background that I've selected by just uploading any kind of image file. And even though there's a little area over above my head there that uh, keeps kind of popping in and out, for the most part, it's taken away everything in my background and all you see is the image that I uploaded. So even though this extension isn't yet perfect, I'm really encouraged by what I've seen. As I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of students who have reached out to me who uh, are on Chromebooks so they can't download programs like Snap Camera or any of those other ones who want some kind of virtual background or lens uh, for two different reasons, right? You have one reason of them just wanting to have fun and you know really bring some life to the meetings. And then you have the other reason where they're just not as comfortable um, as they are in a classroom because they're in an environment where they're self-conscious about the space they live in, where they can see their classmates who might have really great rooms or really great living spaces and they don't. So, uh, you know, allowing them to add in a background or blur out their background will help them to feel more comfortable and confident when they're on these meetings. So this app certainly uh, fulfills that as of now and hopefully will continue to make progress uh, in making those backgrounds a little bit sharper and things like that. But so far, I, I really like it. So uh, if you need help doing this with your computer or with your students, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. I do the best I can to respond to as many comments as possible. I have been getting a lot lately, uh, but I do try every night to go through and answer as many as I can. You can reach out to me by leaving me a comment in the comments section below. You can reach me on Twitter at Dan Spada, or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the ed tech show. I also have a link in the description to this extension, as well as several other uh, Google Meet tutorial videos uh, that you can go through and please feel free to share them with teachers that you think might find them helpful as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.